Alright, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up and configure your Bitmain Amp Miner. So I'll be using the S17 Plus model. So, uh, first you'll want to connect the power and Ethernet to your Amp Miner. Alright, and then after you've done that, uh, you'll need to get the IP address of your amp miner on your local network. And then how you do this will vary depending on uh, like what kind of router you have or how your network is set up. But usually the easiest method would be to log into your router because a lot of routers have a, kind of a list of all the devices connected as well as their IP address. But if your router doesn't have this feature, you, you may need to download uh, some third-party software that can get you the IP address of devices on your network. So I'm just going to go ahead and log into my router here. see on the left hand side there's uh, connected devices where it lists all the, the devices on my network right now as well as the IP address so we'll just go ahead and go to that IP address and then the default username and password for amp miners it's just root r o o t root for the password sign in and here we are, this is the system overview. So as you can see, I have the S17 Plus model. And then you can also see the kernel version, as well as the uptime, so how long the amp miner has been running. And then under the administration tab, this is where you would change the, the password, say if you didn't want root as your password. And then under the monitor tab, this is more of just where you can kind of monitor the, you know, memory, CPU, load, that sort of thing. And then the kernel log, um, you probably won't use this unless you're having a more technical issue where you can kind of search through this and look for uh, maybe an error or something. And then under upgrade, this is where you can uh, uh, perform a factory reset as well as uh, upgrade the, the firmware and you can get the firmware from uh, Bitmain's website so I'll, I'll do that in a separate video and then reboot is simply just a, a reboot button so you don't have to physically walk over to your amp miner and unplug it and plug it back in then the locate is more of if you had a kind of a large mining farm with you know maybe hundreds or even thousands of of miners and maybe one of them is having an issue and you need help uh, finding or identifying that particular miner you can just hit the start blink and it'll start flashing all the LEDs on that particular miner. And that's it for the system tab. So under the minor configuration, this is where you would uh, kind of put your mining pool, like the URL, uh, your worker and uh, wallet address, as well as the password. And then, so this, um, I'll be using NiceHash for this, uh, but you can also use other um, mining pools like uh, slush pool. It's a good one, as well as uh, is this Brian's, Brian's, something. But I, I, I prefer NiceHash, so I'll be using NiceHash. So you'll get this information by going to the, logging in, you know, creating your NiceHash account, logging into the dashboard, and then going to the mining tab. And then on the right hand side, you'll want to click the download miner or add uh, ASIC. And then you want to connect your ASIC device. And then 
select your A6. So I have the S17 Plus, but you could also, you know, this is where you would, if you had the S19 or S19 Pro, that's where you would go. And then your worker name, if uh, maybe you wanted to give your particular miner a, a, like a name, like worker one or something. And then this is where you'd select the algorithm for uh, for ant miners. Uh, I believe they're just uh, SHA-256 or on NiceHash they have a SHA-256 ASIC boost. You probably want to choose. And then the location, you have a yeah, USA West, USA East, Europe West, Europe North. So I'm going to go with USA West, so West Coast. And this is where you get your information. So this is your URL. You just copy that here. And then the username. Now what it is, it's your username and then dot... Uh, your worker name and the, the worker name is optional but that's just how you can identify if you have multiple miners then for nice hash the password is just an X now you can add uh, up to three mining pools so but the way this works it, it doesn't like distribute the work equally among the mining among the mining pools or anything like that so the way it works is by default it'll go to the first mining pool and then only if the first mining pool is down then it'll move to the second mining pool and then if the first and the second mining pool are down then it'll move to the the third mining pool so and then uh, at the very bottom here you have the the work mode so you have a normal mode and sleep mode. And then sleep mode is more of a like a low power mode. So your uh, amp miner will be, uh, you know, it'll use less power. It'll be a little bit quieter in sleep mode. But then it's also probably not going to be as productive in sleep mode. So I'll just leave that in normal mode. And then uh, save and apply. And this might take a little bit for it to apply the settings and then connect to the mining pool. So I'm just going to cut the video and uh, we'll cut back when it's done. All right, so it looks like it's uh, connected and mining. So big difference. Uh, I noticed with the hardware version, it was giving an error message, but once it's online and connected, it, it shows the hardware version. And then also under minor status, this is where you could see like your different mining pools. And yeah, like I said, it'll just go to the first one. And then your, yeah, your username, your worker, and then whether it's alive or, you know, if your mining pool's down or if you don't have a mining pool, then it'll just say dead. And then uh, accepted is like it's how many uh, jobs it's accepted, and the difficulty, as well as jobs you know like discarded or rejected or whatever. And then you can also get the like temperatures and frequencies of each of the uh, what do you call them the mining cards, mining chips as well as the, the fan speeds, the, the four main fans, so like two intake, two exhaust, as well as yeah, the time it's been mining, the giga hashes, giga hash average, which I think terahash would be be the two so it looks like 75 terahash 77 terahash so that's about where this is a 76 terahash uh, minor so 
that's about where it should be. Um, but yeah, um, if if there's something wrong with your miner, the the mining status is usually the best place to to check for that. And then also when I go back over to nice hash, I need to refresh the page. But yeah, it should show an unmanaged uh, and then whatever your miner name was. So I chose worker one. Yep. And then you can also like click on that and it'll give you the kind of stats for that, the difficulty, the kind of accepted mining speed. So it looks like it's 46 terahash. So not bad, not bad. Back to the miner. And then I think the last tab here is just network setting. So this is more of if you wanted to set uh, like a static IP, um, and maybe if you needed to like DMZ or your miner or you know have give your miner a static IP so you can so if you had like a large mining farm, you know, a bunch of different uh, miners, you wouldn't want them to be getting issued a new IP address every time they reboot. So this is how you would give them a static IP address. And then under the diagnostics tab, um, this is just more to see if, uh, if your miner can reach out to the internet. So like ping, uh, I've noticed that um, by default, it has this uh, bitmaintech.com in, but it can't seem to ping that. I don't know if that, that website is uh, is even up anymore, if that's the issue, or if it's just not responding to pings. Um, give it a minute. But yeah, it's just, yeah, 100% pack a loss. But I noticed if I put in maybe a different website or a different IP address, like just google.com ping it yep and then it works uh, yep 100% received so I believe that's just an issue with the, the bitmaintech.com uh, website but I believe that's uh, everything. Uh, if you have any other like questions, you can leave a comment. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, ring that notification bell. Have a nice day.